Hey co-friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today I'm going to give you five common mistakes that we make with curly hair. Hopefully you don't do any of these, but if you do, we're going to call them out now so that your routine can become a little bit more easier and you'll be happier with your curly results. Now before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Ritual. You guys may have heard me talk about Ritual Vitamins before because I've taken them all throughout my pregnancy as my prenatal vitamin and my postnatal vitamin, so I take them all the time. But now they just launched the Ritual Symbiotic Plus, which is a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic all in one. Like, did you know that the top five gut health supplements don't even have postbiotic? Well, this one does. So this three-in-one supplement is going to help you with your gut, digestive, and immune health. I can say that ever since having a baby, my little mommy tummy is still here. So now when I bloat, you like really see it because my little stretchy mommy skin is like sticking out even more. So this has definitely helped with bloating. All you do is take one a day. It has a little mint flavor. It looks like this. Super easy to swallow. And it has a delayed release technology to help reach your colon and not your stomach which is the ideal place for a probiotic to grow and thrive. So if you're dealing with like bloating, gas, or even diarrhea, there's no more shame in your gut game. You can get this with 30% off your first month if you use my promo code and or click the link in my description box. Cause let's face it, you could have the best hair day ever, but if your tummy ain't feeling right, you're not gonna feel good. And then you're not gonna look good. Without further ado, let's get started with five curly hair mistakes. I think I'm going to try styling my hair with some old faves. Uh, let's use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This will lead me into mistake number one, applying too much or too little on your curls. Now I have very fine hair and this is a pretty thick cream. So if I used a lot of this, even though I love this product, it would weigh down my hair and not give me my desired results. At the same time, if I only took, I don't know, what's a common phrase, a dime size, and put this on one side of my hair, it would also be a hot mess. So as I demonstrate how to apply that, mistake number two is not applying your products correctly. And that would mean you don't wanna apply it to straight on dry hair. You wanna wet it first. Now, as you can see in my hair, it is looking shiny. You want to apply the product on wet hair so that everything can look nice and smooth. If I just used this much and kind of did one of these, this is what is called wet frizz. You don't want your hair to look frizzy even while it's wet. Just kind of doing this like putting the product on is not going to give you the results you want you want to smooth down any of that frizz so look here is here's before okay that's not what we want when you smooth it on wet hair after that is how you want the curl to look so if you apply your product and it still looks like this when you're finished you're not done yet. Go back in with a little bit more product, add a little bit at a time. You always can add more. If you put too much, you can't take it off. So I like to rub it together, smooth it down, smoothing away all the frizz. And then I scrunch it back up for that definition. Feel free to rake through if you have fine hair and you're trying to get more volume, you rake. If you have thick hair and you don't want any like stringy pieces because you don't need the extra help of volume, you can go ahead and keep the more clumped looking curls. But for me, I don't have a lot of hair, so I like to break it apart to make my hair look more full. Mistake number three, using the right product for the wrong reason. You can buy the best, most expensive, most raved about product, but if you're using it for the wrong reason, it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna make you angry. For example, let's say you buy some gel and you're like, wow, this is Maui Moisture. I want this gel to give me moisture. Well, the first ingredient on here is aloe and water. This one actually does say to define and moisturize, but 
in general, I would not rely on a gel to moisturize my hair. So if you want moisture, that's what conditioner's for. Deep conditioners, leave-in conditioners, creams. Those are all the things you want to reach for if your hair is dry. Now, if you want hold and you want your curls to last all week, then I wouldn't grab a cream styler. I wouldn't just put in a leave-in and then walk away. You need something that's going to create hold or a cast like a gel or a mousse or hairspray. So make sure you read the bottle, see what it says it's actually for, and then only expect that product to do what it's claiming to do. And even that sometimes could be a lie. But definitely don't ask your product to do something that it's not even saying it's gonna do. Mistake number four, caring too much about your hair type. The whole hair typing could be a whole video in itself, and I'm honestly over the chart because it's the least important thing when it comes to defining or characterizing your hair. What's more important is your hair's porosity, is your hair's density, the thickness, how thin, how long, um, how it feels. All that is way more important than if you're type three, type four, four ABC, four EFG, it doesn't really matter unless you're talking about the actual look and shape of it. But when it comes to trying to choose what products are gonna work for you, you need something that's going to satisfy your hair needs. So don't get too caught up in the typing. Which leads me to mistake number five. Don't just listen to influencers to figure out how to do your hair. I know it's very contradicting to what's happening right now, but I say that to say this right now, my hair is so fine that I can just put it on my hair in two sections and scrunch like you witnessed. And my hair could be beautiful. But that may not work for you if you have thick hair. If you have thick hair, you absolutely have to section and in small sections. I can get away with two because this is probably as much as a quarter of one of your sections <laughs> like i don't have much hair as big as i make it look so if you have thick hair you got to do it in sections which is different than from what i'm doing which also goes back to point number four they'll just be like oh this girl also has type 3b hair whatever works for her hair is gonna work for mine not necessarily just because you and i may have the same hair type look of the curl doesn't mean it's made the same maybe your hair is drier maybe it's shorter maybe it's thicker all that's gonna play a really important role on what products are going to work for your hair. So I would say this, if you are watching an influencer, one, make sure you trust this person. Make sure this person's hair actually looks good. I get really confused when people take advice from people that's hair looks crazy. But if this is someone that you trust, you value the information that they share, give it a try, absolutely. But if it doesn't work for you, don't be afraid to try something else. Or if their hair is opposite than yours, try the opposite. I know I have some people that literally watch me to do the opposite of what I suggest because their hair is the opposite of mine. And that works for them. And that's our relationship. <laughs> now let's dry this hair. Much better. So let me know which one of these mistakes are you guilty of. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you check out the Ritual Symbiotic Plus for the prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic all in one. And use my link in the description box to get 30% off your first month. If you enjoy curly hair content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I also post many videos on TikTok and Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.